Hello YouTubers, this is Bob Myers, just sitting around the house. Um, a few days ago I finished almost all of Muhammad Ali's fights, including his uh, Olympics boxing and the infamous super fight that he did with Rocky Marciano in 1969, which was comprised into a film using a, com using a computer. Um, after they fought. But uh, I just wanted to give a brief little review about his fight with Cassius Clay and Muhammad Ali. Um, first of all, I think he's truly the greatest boxer ever who ever lived and whoever will walk into a ring and, you know, kick the ass of every boxer he ever faced. Um, I think his toughest fight was probably George Chavallo. Both his first and second fight between Mr. Chavallo were very tough, but I think the first one, despite his fights with Joe Frazier, I think his first George Chavallo fight was toughest. His easiest fight was the second um, Jerry Corey fight in 1972, I believe. Um, that was the easiest. He just like walked into the ring and kind of played with him a little bit, and he was pretty good and enjoyed that. Um, let's see. I admired his the way he conducted himself and the way he still conducts himself. You saw him at the opening ceremony at the Olympics in London, and uh, just how professional he was in the boxing ring and how compassionate he was after every fight, whether he won or lost. Only lost, like, five fights. Um, I admired his boxing strategy. He always defended himself with the left hook. This is my right hand, but this is supposed to be a demonstration of the left hook, but it kind of sucks. But he would box like that. Then he used the left hook to block when he needed to. Like any boxer, he would go like this and block all the other punches and come back floating like a butterfly and sting like a bee. I just think he was the greatest and he was a very clean, professional boxer. He never knocked down an, op an opponent. Um, all of his KOs, or almost all of them at least, had to be declared by the judges of the boxing match matches. Um, he never knocked down an, oppo an opponent just to give the fans a temporary thrill, and he always played fair, and you don't see that with any boxer nowadays. They're always, they all look like a bunch of street fighters, and they all look like just a bunch of crazy, nasty people. But uh, Muhammad Ali was the greatest and the most professional one there is, and ever will be. He influenced Mike Tyson, and Mike Tyson, I don't know if he ever respected him. I'm sure he, he did, he, but um, just Mike Tyson was a very dirty fighter, especially just the way he was in the ring, and especially biting off the ear of one of the op opponents he faced. But Muhammad Ali and Cassius Clay, whatever his name is, either way, Cassius Clay and Muhammad Ali is the greatest. He's just... I can't go. I could go on and on about him, and those are just some of the greatest fights. I loved all of his fights with Joe Frazier and Ken uh, Norton. Ken Norton. Uh, let's see. First fight, 1966, I think. Let's see. Ken Norton broke his jaw. I know that. Um, that might be, along with the George Zavallo one, his toughest fight. But he, it, no matter what, the man could take a punch, Muhammad, Cassius, whatever. He, he could always take a punch. He fought back. He gave his all. Even in, even in his last games, or in his last fights, not his last games. But, uh, yeah, he, he was just so great. I, I could go on and on. Um, but, 
Yeah. Um, the Larry Holmes fight in 1980, that stuck out too because you could clearly see when Larry Holmes beat him that Larry Holmes was crying, reasonably so, because he had just taken down his idol. It was very emotion an emotional moment for him. And I think I read that uh, even after the fight, he went to the dressing room and broke down. But Muhammad always handled things with grace. He would always walk over to the opponents he faced and pat him on the shoulder, raise their hand up in, in kind of a victorious way, whether they won or lost. And he always showed compassion. And I always love that about him. And I think boxing gets me pumped up. It makes me want to, you know, just get out there and fight anybody if I was mad or whatever. But uh, it's just such a thrill. It's such a thrilling sport. It's a brutal sport, but it's a thrilling, thrilling sport. And I love it. And I love Muhammad Ali, Cassius Clay, whatever. He was great. And uh, I think it was a bunch of crap that he had to face when in the 60s when he had to be stripped of his boxing license and heavyweight championships because he had spoken out against the Vietnam War, but that's just the times. But he uh, got uh, to prove himself in the 70s. He's Muhammad. is such a cultural icon even to this day. People look up to him and, oh my God, he's just, he's just pure greatness. I could go on and on, but I'm going to keep this brief. I'm not going to rant. But uh, I just wanted to tell you my reasonings of why I think he's the greatest and just a few of his fights that I thought were just magnificent and the man himself is great and the most of moment for me was also when he, uh, in 1996, when he uh, lit the torch at the 1996 opening ceremonies in Atlanta for the Olympics and yeah, that was just great when he got his medal back because in the 60s when he th when he was refused service in a restaurant in Ohio I think it was Mohammed uh, decided to throw his medal that he won in the 1960 Olympics in a river and uh, in the 1996 Olympics he was given it back and given a new one and it was just great he himself is great, I've already said this, and I just love Muhammad Ali. I could go on and on, but my sport of choice is boxing, and aside from Michael Jordan in uh, basketball, Muhammad Ali is my favorite athlete in boxing. Peace and love, everybody. Have a good day.